The essence of my career has been to preserve and protect the significant cultural and natural resources of the national parks. The more you learn, the more you appreciate it, and therefore are going to help to preserve and protect those, those resources. I think we, we all enjoy um, being able to have some of those new experiences um, that, that help in our day-to-day -day lives and put everything else in perspective. When I see images of the national parks, it reminds me of how incredible these resources are and that we are so fortunate to have these resources in the United States. I was a transfer student um, to Stevens Point and I just remember uh, it being just such a, a great place. I lived in Smith Hall and right away met a lot of people who were in the Natural Resources Program and other students as well. It, it just felt like it was the, the right place to be. I remember all of the opportunities that I could have, a lot of outdoor opportunities um, to do things that I hadn't done before. We did six weeks of field work at Clam Lake in the Shawamigan National Forest. And that was, that was so much fun. And three of my friends and I, who are also my roommates, we had our 40 acre plot that we had to manage. I remembered marking off the 40 acres with our section with toilet paper. That's how we remembered um, where everything was. When Cheryl was here, I was a brand new faculty member. I came in 77. I advised uh, all the students who were uh, majoring in environmental education and interpretation. And in the case with Cheryl, um, uh, I remember well the Woodlake Nature Center where, where she was placed. She had to be one of my first interns. I knew that I really enjoyed um, interpreting the environment and being either an interpretive naturalist or um, being involved in outdoor education. I was bitten by the, the bug and that was how my career started. Oh my goodness. She has been all over the country in uh, national parks and national monuments, historic sites. Uh, what a wonderful career. Jill Cave is a beautiful national monument. All of the, the different geology, the um, stalactites, the stalagmites, the beautiful formations. I had an opportunity in Yellowstone to work in a variety of different places, um, including um, Old Faithful, um, the lake area, and also Mammoth Hot Springs. It really gave me a different perspective of the business operation side and management as well. She was at Yellowstone during the most horrific time in the park's history, and that was the Yellowstone fires of 1988. And she was the person that was the communicator to the public it was challenging at times. I do remember in the National Park Service early on, prior to my joining the National Park Service, even the iconic patch, um, the Arrowhead patch, um, was smaller on women's uniforms than men's uniforms. The National Park Service began in 1916. Uh, and there were some women in, even in those earliest years. Um, but it was pre predominantly an old boys club. One of my past uh, supervisors asked me, why do you want to be a superintendent? And I said, well, I always thought of it as the conductor of an orchestra. And if you hired the right people, you could really make beautiful music. And you don't have to be the expert. You just have to make sure that you're hiring all the right people for those jobs to make it happen. I'm proud to say that I'm the first woman superintendent of Mount Rushmore. That's quite remarkable. And to be there, her tenure there of 10 years, that's quite remarkable as well. It's like uh, managing a small city. You have 3 million visitors. On average, we would have about 25,000 people a day. The mission of the National Park Service is to preserve and to protect and provide for enjoyment 
of those places that have significance in whether it be natural or cultural, our history as a people. We have some of our greatest um, historic structures that are being preserved by the National Park Service, and these are to be enjoyed by everyone. So they belong to the people of the United States. And I think being that public servant and being in public service to help preserve and protect is the greatest mission 